Okay, so this is a surprise. I didn't think that I was gonna do another video of this uh, LP, but I uh, spent um, the Friday evening, I think, um, and I went through and just did random things in the overworld. And I went back to level six and I found that I can do this. So let's see if I can actually do it. Um, oh. So if we get hit by this guy at the right time, he can actually bounce us up here. Ah. So, like so. And, as fate has it, up here, there's a chest. Now, yeah, this is like a glitch, I guess, or not a glitch per se, but I'm certainly doing something uh, the normal game would never expect. But up here, we have a chest that contains the frickin' hookshot. The frickin' hookshot is in here, in an unreachable place, unless you're willing to be a little bit crazy. Now, what I did wasn't really fancy at all, because I still don't know any, like, speedrun tricks or any glitches, but... There you go. There you go. There you have it. Um, and so, I'm, I'm gonna do this. And... Now we can... Check to see, um... Or, well, we can do a bunch of, a bunch of stuff, apparently. So... Um, I'm not really sure... Well, as, let's begin with this. As you can see, I have the level 2 sword. I had I had over 20 seashells and uh, probably have some extra rupees and stuff like that. And that's because I've been scouring the overworld. Um, just doing anything I could possibly think of after I kind of finished this seed. But... Now that I found this, I might as well continue and see if I can find the other items. I'm not sure if I want to uh, necessarily complete this and go all the way to the end because I'm, you know, that kind of hype for that is kind of gone. But at least we can check out some stuff now. So, um, I guess the first thing I want to check out is the, which is easy to get to, is the trombona whatever it is shores so let's go over there um so again I, I like or again i don't know if this is supposed to be like we can see this as legit or not i don't i don't feel like the randomizer should expect you to do something like this but you know this is an item that will certainly uh make a difference here i'm pretty dang sure it will because, uh, you know, having been stuck in the way I've been, it's obviously... I mean, again, there's nothing I can do. I went to level 7. There's only one chest there that I can't get to. Um, which is what well, I need the hookshot for it. And then... And then I went to um, level 3. There's one chest there, I think. Yeah, that I can't get to because I don't have the rocks feather. And then I think I went, well, yeah, I went to level 5, but there's nothing I could have done there. But now I can, all of a sudden. What? Are you kidding me? So, yeah. And there's the ocarina. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's the ocarina. Um, if I had some more rupees, I could go and uh, get the... Uh, the song. Well, speaking of Ocarina, down here we have Marin. I never did this, so so I kind of tried this off camera. I also went to level eight because I realized I never actually went up to where level eight is, and I thought maybe the dragon whatever is actually not there, but it turns out it is. So uh, I couldn't have done anything there. This also doesn't lead to anything. Well, it will now, but it didn't back then. <laughs> In the, in the old days. So, you know, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. I'm probably not gonna show, I, I don't know, I'm probably gonna cut around here because I'm 
I kind of just want to go to certain places, like level 5. Um, the cave near the where the shop is, which is up in, you know, above Animal Village. I want to go there too. And, uh, oh, there's also the uh, chest outside of the forest next to the, uh, the witch's hut. I can get that now. And then, of course, there are some ways which we, where you can you can only cross if you have the hook shot. So, anyway, I'm gonna go leave Marin off at Animal Village. So, all right, now we can go get her song. So that's kind of nice. I don't know if I need to equip it. I don't remember. But where is Mambo's Mambo? I think that is actually in May Village. So we can get that and we can... Um, we can get Wart's song. But obviously we need 300 rupees for that, so... Uh, maybe not yet, but that will uh, make me able to go into level 8, which... I, I'm certain that level 8 is actually level 1. <laughs> I, I, I'm really kind of almost positive that that would be the case. It could be level 2 as well, but... Man, those two dungeons. Like, where the hell are they? Now, another thing, you know, we still have some areas we haven't been to on the map, like... This area right here. Um, I don't really remember exactly what's over here. But, and then we have these two areas, which of course uh, would be where you, that you can access um, from level 8. And then you have an area here that I haven't been to. And then some stuff down here, which is the pothole maze. So, and then some areas up here, which I don't really care about, but yeah. Um, now, let's head off to uh, the forest, the witch's hut. Oh, here's Mambo's Mambo. Yes. Let's go get this song too. Again, like, I don't know. I at least want to see if I can fill out the uh, the inventory screen. Um, I don't know. I feel like at this point, showing the dungeons would be so redundant. Except for maybe level 1 and 2. But perhaps I can, like beat all the bosses, or go through the dungeons, beat all the bosses, and the last boss, and just kind of do a montage of that, and then maybe come back after that with some final thoughts or something, I don't know. You know, because this LP is just weird as it is, so... Might as well keep it weird all the way till the end. But, uh, once again, um, it seems like this would have been the way forward to do what I did to get the hook shot. Okay. So, um, let me see, where am I going? Well, I, I almost feel like there's something down here as well. I've also, well, no, no. I've been to an area where I do need the, the uh, uh, the rock's feather, so. And I probably won't be able to get over here. I've been doing stuff like this, you know? Kind of try to get over pits and stuff like that. Which, you know, it doesn't work all that well. Well, there we go. <laughs> that worked well. But, again, I don't really feel comfortable doing that. Because I kind of expect the randomizer to not expect you to do stuff like that because uh, it's not a requirement for like beating the game normally but maybe maybe you need some glitches and stuff in here I'm well, not glitches I don't know why I keep calling it that but you know oh this is what takes me to the mountains of course now um, with this um, I can probably cross some of those bridges up on Telltale Heights so, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, what else can I do? I can, um... Well, yeah, again, we have some caves and stuff like that. I don't really know where they are, but, uh, um, 
at the moment. I did run into one, I think, um, last time I, I played before I found the hookshot. So I haven't actually explored with the hookshot any, you know, in, in any capacity. I just kind of found it and then thought, that's my breakthrough. So, and I kind of want to show the rest on, on camera. Rupees, oh my god. Am I surprised or what? So let me see here. Oh my god. If I went over here, what happened then? Now, now I don't know this dungeon at all. <laughs> Ow. I think this is just, uh, yeah, stupid room. Oh. But we do have stuff in here. Ow. That's not good. Can I get a heart? Or something. Oh yeah, we have keys too. <laughs> Might actually not find the the rocks feather in here, but maybe. It certainly feels a lot better than it did. Uh, so what I've learned from this uh, game is that it's way more restricted than I ever thought, um, and that one item isn't enough. You need those combinations of items. Um, that's a 2D area. I don't know if I want to go down there. Because I'm probably going to have to jump, which I don't want to do. Or I can't do, obviously, but... But yeah, so the game is way more restricted than I, than I thought. And, you know, I thought that when we found the bracelet, we were set. But, turns out that... You know, and perhaps that's kind of the brilliance of the game. It's about combinations of items, not just one item. That will do the trick most of the time. Well, the Rock's Feather is pretty dang powerful, but... But yeah, it's about those combinations. That's what makes this game... Ow. So here we go. Could you possibly be the compass? Of course. I, think, I do think... We, yeah, we have the map here. So, uh... Well, ow, and we couldn't do anything here, but I think we can cross the gap in that other room. Probably gonna die here, uh, yeah, wait, maybe not, maybe not, maybe I can live. Didn't I shuffle in, I think I shuffled in the boomerang as well, but I could be wrong. Um, okay, well, we're not getting over here anyway, so... Well, or maybe we do. Okay. And then I can cross like that. Might as well, you know, might as well just... ...do this. Because, uh... Well. Because the game has already kind of enticed me to do stuff like this, so... Might as well continue with it, in my opinion. No, I need to do this. Ow. Oh! Oh! I forgot about this guy. He's still here. I don't know if I can get to his fourth form, though. Given that, uh, I think you have to jump there. I can't beat you! I'm out of here! Okay, so let's see what this is. It's the beak. And I might be able to access one more chest in here, maybe. Um, although it didn't seem super likely. Hmm. You know, <laughs> we could try this. 
and see what happens. Ah. I could try one more time. Oh, no, no, no. I have enough life. Nah, okay, so let's just do this then. There we go, and perhaps I can... No. I can't. Oh, I wasn't looking at Link there. Nope, okay. But wait, we can we can we can do this. Ob obviously, I still won't be able to do anything here. I don't think. Maybe. Can I do something like this? Maybe. No. 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 Yeah. Once again, this is kind of what I have had to resort to, in order to. Uh, I don't think I can do anything here. I'm gonna try one more time. Nah. Okay, so I won't be able to access this chest, that's fine. Um, it's probably only the... Well, I don't know. Let, let me see if I have the boss... Yeah, I do. Okay, so... Uh. Anyway, um... We have, uh, now we have uh, the, uh, the grotto, apparently. We have a, apparently we have a grotto that is, that I marked as a hookshot grotto. Uh, that's around level six. So I'm going to go there instead. And if that doesn't lead to anything in particular, I'm going to have to uh, look at my notes that I made before and see if I can find another spot that has a hookshot thing. So one thing I found out about now, or I didn't find out about it, I saw it now. I have over 300 rupees, so we can go to Wart and get his song. And then we can head off to... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Then we can head off to uh, level 8. No, 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 this is Richard's Villa. That's right. There's some other, uh, some other grotto that I always think is not going to be one with a nice big gap in it, but then I always come to it and, you know, or I have had in this seed and then had to beat myself over the head because I, I, I'd been there for like a, a thousand times already and yet I was still going there thinking that there would be something there showing that I never learned. Is this the shop? I think it is. Yeah. Um, do you sell hearts? No, you don't. Ugh. I do have the shovel. Yeah, I do. Of course. All right, so uh, here we go. Here we go. This might be the cave, actually, that I always think of. Yeah, this one. Let's see what's on the other side. Maybe nothing. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I'm out here all of a sudden. Well, this will only lead me to a freaking uh, thing. Which probably doesn't exist anymore, so... It's not like I, I will get anything else, right? I don't think so. Those are probably gone. <clears throat> okay, well, you know, what's good about it is that I know it's a dead end now. So, I'm gonna have to um, go back to the drawing board a little bit, see what I can find. Okay, let's just take things as they come up, I guess. Um, so I think Wart is actually over... Um, you know what? You know what I can do? Well, I can die. That's something I could do. I think I'm gonna warp. Um, and... 
I think Wart is... If you go through the well, I think, then you can come to him. I think. <laughs> um, so we have... Oh. So we have, we have Wart, we can get him, and then we can go to level 8. But we can also... We can also um, see if we can find the the cave that's like the the, the proper entrance to Taltal Heights. Um, I know I've you know it's it's one of those caves that I've passed through many times, yet I can't remember where it is now. Um, but um, yeah, somehow I got to remember, or at least look at some you know my my notes, but. One thing is for sure, I probably won't have time to actually finish this. I still kind of want this to be just one long episode. Uh, so I might... I might uh, still do that, but... Um, yeah. Probably gonna take more than one day to complete. Well, I don't know how to find Wart, actually. Um, I kind of know where he is, but I think he's in that little grove, you know, that you can only access via a different, a different um, cave. So it's probably gonna be useless to go over there. Uh, and uh, I can't find in my notes just quickly, you know, where where that would be, where that cave would be. So uh, yeah. Oh, well here we have found one cave that I wanted to get to, and it has a chest. Okay, check it out. Eagle's key, okay. And you know what I just kind of remembered? Um, no, 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 what did I do? I'm not gonna be able to get out of here now, fuck. Moron, come on, man. Damn it, I'm gonna have to reset. Um, so Eagle's Key means, of course, I can I can now enter Eagle's Tower. And what that means is that I'm probably going to get access to Dungeon 1 or 2. That's what I think. Um, but, but again, I don't know how to get to Eagle's Tower. So, but I think, I think this is going to be how we get to Wart. So... And I think the last thing I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to, uh, uh, open up level 8. I wish I could speak better, that I didn't have to think so much every time I'm trying to say something. Always beautiful. Okay, and so level eight should be where the uh, entrance or close to level four anglers tunnel. So I'm gonna head off there and then I'll meet you when we're closer to uh, dungeon eight. You know what I just thought of? I can now get the rooster as well and I know exactly where the uh, the eagle's key cave is so that could be pretty cool too. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Wonder if I'm experiencing some lag here. I don't know. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna open this up, see what it is, and then I'm gonna take a break because I'm I've been recording for 36 minutes at this point. Um, so this is probably gonna be split up in several, like, this is probably gonna be one video, but I'm only gonna, um, I'm only gonna, or I'm gonna record for several sessions, probably. Because another thing we can do is, um, the hole at Candlelit Castle. We can now get that if we have the rooster, so. Ow. What is it? What is it? It's level one! Alright. Now I'm gonna do level one in a different take, so yeah, hang on tight. 
All right, so let's do this. Let's do this dungeon. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I wouldn't think, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Rock's Feather is actually in here. Oh, we have the compass. Who knew? We'll see though, what happens. I'm just gonna rush through this, and uh, yeah. And then I guess I need to find, well I could go and wake up the rooster then, after this, but um, I'm gonna have to find Eagle's Tower somehow. I don't remember where it can be. Jeez, is this just the same? Will that mean that I get the Rock's Feather here? Let's grab this first. Rupees. Oh, I'm so surprised. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Stone beak. And I guess no, I don't need a key. I'm gonna do that because I'm I'm sure that guy's gonna screw me over somehow. Now, what I don't remember is if I if I uh, decided that the uh, the boomerang is supposed to be part of the the shuffle as well. I can't remember that. That would be cool though to have that as well, so I can kill the final boss really easily. But again, I don't I don't remember what the settings were for this. Such a long time ago since I generated it. Two years, two whole years. All right, here we go. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the uh, the rock's feather. It isn't. Okay, interesting. I wonder if I'll be able to get out of here though. No, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I can. I still think the Rock's Feather is in here, somewhere. Well, I hope so. If not, well, I, I get... No, I can't actually finish the dun dungeon otherwise. Um, oh yeah, take more damage. <laughs> wow, I can... I really can get hit by everything here. So good. All right. Nope. Okay, that's interesting. That means, well, no, no, we do have the, um, those things, those annoying things that I can kill. I don't really want to, but I guess I'm gonna have to do it. So I'm probably gonna cut this out until I get it right. There we go. Oh, okay. So now I have that bracelet. Um, well, there isn't anything I can do in this dungeon, so I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna go wake up the rooster. So see you in a bit. All right, I'm just kind of messing around here. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab this really quickly and be done with that. Sweet. Oh, and here we are. Here's uh, level seven, which I'm sure is level two. I was on the right track. So, still don't have the rooster, but, you know. I just kind of jumped down from level 8, you know, to that area, in, or to that area where I was stuck in, in part 3. And uh, the sort of main, uh, what I think of as like the main cave that leads to Telltale Heights, um, took me here, so. So, let's see what we can do. Um... I don't, we can't get the beak because um, I don't have the rock's feather. <laughs> Man, where is the rock's feather? Really curious about that. Um, what do I grab here? Oh yeah, I might actually, this might come, um, end fairly quickly because uh, we have the jumping thing down there, I think, in that room. 
so but at least at least we can get some chests here that's a key right I can't do anything here yeah no I don't think so anyway there might be like ways I could mess with that maybe using the hookshot or something but I don't think so um, you'd be you'd have to be a lot better at the game than what I am to do that I think so this might be actually rather quick <laughs> then or maybe not maybe not finally I can jump oh my god I can jump <laughs> so um... Well, now that I have everything, I'm not really sure. Um, well, we still haven't found Papa Hall, or whatever his name is, um, to continue the tra trading quest. But I'm going to finish this dungeon. I'm probably going to show you what the, the chests are. And, um, and then, I don't know, I'm just going to start cutting to things. I'm probably not going to finish the entire episode today, but... Um, I don't know. But now I have everything, so... I'm pretty happy about that, so... Um, yeah. Again, I don't, I don't know what to do from now on. It's like... All this all the suspense is over. Now I, all I have left are like... All the dungeons I have to go through. Um, to get all the... To be able to finish this once and for all. But... Um, I do have, you know, not only the red mail, but also the level 2 sword, so that's going to be interesting. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, I think, and just cut to when I get chests and uh, kill bosses. Oh, you're not dying. Whoa. Thought he was going to die in two hits. That's with the, uh, the fire rod. Oh, I can't forget the fire rod. I need to try that on bosses. That's going to be awesome. Here we go, let's try the fire rod. Wait, I'm gonna need the, the bracelet first. Oh, you hit me? That's great. You hit me again, man. All right, let's try this. Aha! Probably would have died from two sword slashes, sword slashes as well. Oh well, let's get the instrument. Oh, by the way, I noticed in the in the first section of this video that the audio is desynced, so I hope I can fix that in editing. If not, then uh, I'm just I'm very sorry about that. I don't know what to do about it. So it's like you can't re-record like a um, an episode of a randomizer because that kind of takes away the the magic of it all. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna head off to <clears throat> I'm gonna head off to level one. I think. Of course, like a lot of the uh, chests, or most chests, I don't think will be relevant anymore. Um, I mean, we still have a ton of them left, but... Tons of them left. But, um... Uh, unless I can find the boomerang somewhere, which again, I don't know if I will be able to or not. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm, I want to, like search for chests now but we'll see it's probably gonna be i'm probably not gonna record all of this now once again so it's gonna be a, like a third section in this and i don't know how long this episode will be it might be an hour 
Who knows? Anyway, on to the boss. Wait. No, no, no. Let's go, Moldorm. Oh, wow. One hit. One hit. That was nice. Since I'm here, I might as well go and do level 5. You know, while we're here, why not? Boss time! I think all I have to do now is catch him, and then it will be game over for this guy. No? Okay. Oh, really? He's taking a lot of hits. Really? Well, there we go. Right, let's go. Level three. Oh, I didn't even have to spin attack. Nice. Love it. Just an um, absolute slaughter with these bosses. And while we're here now, we have a lot of dungeons here, but I'm gonna do this, and I'm probably gonna I'm gonna do level four as well, which leaves us with six, seven, eight, which I can do in another session, but probably in the same video, because uh, yeah. Anyway, rooster time. Mini boss time. Here we go again, another boss down, or he's going down, he's not down just yet, but there we go.
Okay, here we go with Facade or whatever his name is. Um, by the way, there is a chest up there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go get it because, uh, um, well, I don't know. I have no idea, really. What am I doing? Get hit by everything. Not really. There we go. I almost died, but who cares? I don't know. I just want to finish the dungeons and kind of go finish the game. I guess I can check out, you know, the two like rooster specific things, but uh, I think I'm just gonna find rupees. I can't really think. Of anything else I'm gonna find, you know. Maybe the boomerang, but I, I I don't remember if I actually if you can put it in the logic in this particular randomizer. It might actually just be that you can't, you know. I'm not really sure what would happen if you found it though. If, would it just replace the shovel or would you get a choice or perhaps the shovel wouldn't have shown up at all? that was the case so um, there's still so much to do though this this episode will never finish like it's it's been probably like uh, um, well at least four or five days since I recorded the first section of this video so it's pretty dang long and I have everything like uh, I don't necessarily need the uh, the, the boomerang, it's just nice to have for the final boss, that's all. But anyway, let's see where this goes, and uh, because I don't really want to do Eagle's Tower. So, oh, okay. Well, this is not going to give me anything. No, well, yeah, it probably is. Let's see, let's kill him anyway. Let's kill this guy. Oh, wait, I'm gonna do this too. Well, there we go. I did get the face key, which I guess it's the face key, I don't know. I have no idea. There aren't any more keys as far as I know in the game, so... Um, well, we can go and check out uh, what the, like, what the eagle, the actual eagle key cave is. Was this level 7? No, it wasn't. Um, so I am gonna do that. I don't know about the pothole maze, guys. I'm just like, I don't know. I kind of just wanted to finish the seed so I can have it finished, you know? And not leave it unfinished because I did find the, let's call it the breakthrough item. Oh, oh well, look at this. That's interesting. And just rupees, of course. All of the chests that I picked up that didn't contain um, dungeon items in level six, um, they were also just rupees, so. Again, maybe it's lazy of me to just leave it as it is, or to just go to the dungeons and then kill the final boss, but uh, it's getting a bit long-winded, and I'd like to be finished with this so I can go on to other projects. So, uh, because I have started another project as of the recording of this video. But once again, I won't post it until it's done. Um, so, I don't know. Who knows? I'm just going to cut this out. I, I shouldn't have talked for so long.
Ah, oh, finally. If you only knew how much I despise Eagle's Tower. I really, really do. I don't like this dungeon at all. I'm almost up to 30 minutes of recording, actually. And I've only done two dungeons. And I have, like, one left. <laughs> Where's the... Oh, yeah, the library. I remember what that is. By the way, if I'm gonna finish this today, which I want to. Wish I could hit him more times, actually. But... There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to get really tired of this scene now. <laughs> I don't know. Of course I didn't have to finish it, but eh, whatever. I want to finish it, so. It's only one dungeon left though. And then it's on to the final boss. I guess. Any hard pieces? Oh, I only need one more. Um, where the hell is that dungeon? It's over here, somewhere. I remember where it is. Final dungeon! No, that's not how you do it. I don't have anything for it. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Just gonna get some chests and, uh, We'll see what happens, so I guess I, I don't have to cut anything here because we have a chest right now. I have two keys as well. Oh my god. Oh, rupees, I'm so surprised. Okay, I'm just going to the boss. I can't really be bothered, to be honest. Wow. Yeah, I can't be bothered anymore. I'm just tired of this, <laughs> to be honest. So, let's just get the final instrument and... Um, I'm gonna go and finish the last boss and be done with this. Okay, so um, there's still more to this video. Um, this is, I think, the fourth uh, recording session that I did for this video and uh, I'm post commentating this because uh, as is sometimes the case I uh, recorded with my um, computer mic rather than my my real mic or my blue yeti so uh, I'm just watching this and post commentating um, so it's not as exciting, I guess, because I kind of know what's going to happen, although it was a couple of weeks ago I recorded this, so I don't fully remember, but um, yeah. Um, the thing that I obviously, I'm obviously doing here is I'm, I'm uh, trying to continue the, or finish the trading quest, so I'm looking for Papa Hall. And of course, having the uh, hookshot, I'm hanging out here in Taltal Heights, and just, uh, yeah, we have Marin, for instance, that we can save. Isn't that awesome? And a cutscene without any text. Great stuff. 
Anyway, so obviously I've been here before, um, which is kind of what I'm realizing here. It's too bad that, that I didn't, that I was so stupid to not record the proper mic, but that's just the way it is. So now I'm in um, the pothole maze, and uh, I'm being very, very stupid here because I'm trying to follow the signs, but there is a detail I'm not really getting. Um, so, and I don't remember, I've already, like, edit this, so I'm not watching the, the, the whole thing, you know. Um, it's probably my, my most edited video on this channel yet. See, I'm not, well, I guess I see it now, the staircase, thinking that it's just some, like, other type of entrance, but no, this is the entrance to, uh, what is supposed to be, um, wart, so... And what could he possibly have? Rupees, of course. What else would it be at this point? So I think this is where I... Um... Well, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, am I looking for Papa Hall? <laughs> I can't remember. Great. You know, it's the final part of the final video of this disastrous LP. And uh, I'm as confused as I could possibly be right now. Um, but, you know, that's just the way it is. I, I think this is gonna be, or it's not gonna be anything, but it's it has been pretty fun though. Like, in retrospect, it's um, very frustrating to, to play, but in retrospect, this is gonna be an interesting little thing on this channel, I think. I don't know. And I'm, I'm happy I, um, I went through with it all. Of course, I'm, I'm kind of like talking here as if though um, the game is over, which it isn't yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I guess I'm thinking right here. I'm discussing something very important. Alright, so now I'm here all of a sudden. One more thing I can do now that I couldn't do before. And, and God knows how many more secrets or treasures there are out there that I could have gotten. But, you know. Well, there we go. We're at Papa Hall. There we go. Got his stuff, so now we can continue the trading quest. Isn't that awesome? I wonder what I'm doing here, though. I don't know. Maybe I should have listened to my original commentary so I could, like, match it. Or something like that, but no. I don't want to do that. Oh! So, continuing the trading quest, getting the suspicious letter. And there he is, Mr. Wright. Oh. And now we get the broom, of course. And then all of a sudden, this happens. I'm talking to the old woman. And I can't give her the broom. And I have no idea why. I tried... I, I was looking for her in um, in May Village as well, but she wasn't there, of course. And I just can't give her the broom. So I'm, at, you know, right now I'm, like, questioning my sanity. Like, isn't this the person you take the broom to? Am I being crazy now? Or have I gone crazy? But, uh, yeah, no. She just won't accept it, I guess. And who knows what she's saying, given that there's no text in the game. So, um... Obviously, since I can't complete the trading quest, I can't get the magnifying glass, and I can't read the book. Um, that shows you the pathway 
through the windfish's egg. So, what I'm doing is I am just going there anyway. <laughs> because what else am I supposed to do, you know? So, um, I've just decided to go there and just um, walk randomly until I see if I can find find my way there. Now I still don't know, and I, you know, maybe I, I haven't looked it up online, but I, I don't think I would find anything. But it's kind of weird how you can't finish the trading quest, you know. Um, I'm not sure why, if that was just a, a bug or something in this seed in particular, or uh, perhaps it has to do with the, uh, the version of the game I'm using. But I don't, I don't think so, because I have actually played through the entire game uh, using this version of the game. Um, so... I don't think so. But anyways, I just start walking randomly, you know. Like trying some patterns that I've probably gotten at some point. And you know what? Well, I guess I'm being a bit confused here, but all of a sudden, I'm there. And there's just no way that I just randomly guessed the right path to take. There must be something that allows you to just um, find the, you know, the hole or something. I don't know. Perhaps if you just walk up a couple of times or something like that. I don't know. But uh, there's just no way I... Uh, I, I guessed correctly because there are too many options so uh, but here we go I am hellbent on finishing this seed and now we're at the end of it the final boss the nightmare or perhaps the nightmares so I don't have the blue tunic, which I usually have, and I don't have the boomerang. Not that I... I normally don't really use the boomerang on the final boss, but... Um, I am a bit worried here, you know, because uh, I do have a tendency to take a lot of damage, at least in the final form. And also, I don't have a life potion either, so... Uh, so I'm slightly worried, I guess. And I'm gonna die and this is gonna take longer than it has to, but, um... You know, I've done this boss so many times that I... I shouldn't doubt myself too much, maybe. Back when I was a kid, I used to play this, you know... Because back, back then, obviously, games would... The, the last save would always be, like, before the final boss, so you could always go and beat the final boss again if you wanted to, so I us usually did that with a lot of the games that I had, like A Link to the Past, this game, and um, Super Mario World, and stuff like that, so. And uh, the Oracle games too, I remember. Did that a lot. Not really with Onyx, or whatever his name is, but the other, the other villain, whose name I can't remember right now. And of course Ganon too, and the uh, witches, whose names I also can't remember. Kotake and Kume? Something like that, I don't remember exactly. It's kind of sad that I don't, but... Because they're pretty iconic. But anyway, that was Ganon, and now we have the final... Well, the final form before the final form. I kind of always see this as the real form of the uh, of the nightmare. So also I don't have the uh, the arrow upgrade, so uh, I only have 30 arrows, and this guy takes I don't know I don't think it is 20, really, but probably 15 or so, something like that. I don't know. So I'm trying to be a bit careful and just kind of really shoot when I have a good shot at him. And have try I guess I've decided that this battle 
rather than just kind of try to pummel him with arrows, I'll have it take a little bit of extra time maybe. And um, yeah, and in order to survive, you know. Yeah, this final form is actually pretty difficult, I've always thought, you know. It's easy to take a lot of damage. But there we go. There we go. I beat the game. I beat this goddamn seed. And that's just amazing. Although, I guess... I don't remember how I felt about it then. I I guess now I still feel like, well, I kind of had to use a method that you're not supposed to use in game. Um, so it kind of doesn't feel like a victory, <laughs> you know? But at the same time, that was, of course, the item I, I needed in order to progress. And I really wanted to beat this seed. As much as I was frustrated with this and it kind of annoyed me, um, I still wanted to beat this, this seed. And, uh, well, I was able to do it with a little bit of trickery. Um, and I know I was talking about how uh, it, it felt like I didn't make any progress throughout the playthrough, but in actuality, I kind of did, you know. I mean, in the beginning we had most of the world open to us, just not the most vital places, and then we found the bracelet, which opened up some more stuff, and the uh, the boots and all that stuff, so, um, I don't know. Perhaps the seed wasn't as bad as I perceived it to be. Um, so, here we are, almost two years later. <laughs> And I finished this eight-part LP. I am such a hard worker, now, aren't I? Just takes me two years to complete an eight-part Let's Play. I've been so lazy with this channel, and I've been so lazy with my main channel that I can make money off of right now, but I'm just not doing anything for it. And um, I have no one but myself to blame my laziness and I'm trying desperately to change and in a way like I have been I mean it, it's it's been six months since I started uh, on the SMALTTP randomizer um, so it's not like I've been <laughs> doing a hell of a lot but it's certainly a lot more sadly than I normally would have done in six months for this for this channel or YouTube in general, but um, anyway, we are done with the seed. I don't know how how um, you out there, if anybody would ever watch this, how you feel about it. But um, again, I leave this with mixed feelings um, because I still would have liked to for, for I would have liked for the randomizer to just you know, work uh, without me having to do a, let's call it a sequence break. Um, but that's not what happened. And I'm glad that it wasn't anything worse than that because I was able to figure that out on my own, you know, just kind of thinking about sort of how the game operates. You know, it's like I played so much that I kind of have a feel for the physics and I thought, I guess I thought to myself, well, I should probably be able to get up this one block tall um, uh, thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was right in my assessments. So anyway, the, um, of course the end credits are going nuts. It's usually the case when you record this game. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I guess, I think I talked about this in the last part, but I I, I was thinking about doing another seed because I couldn't finish this, uh, uh, so I thought. And I did start another seed, 
which I did two parts of, uh, and then I got stuck there as well. But now that I've finished this, I guess this will be enough. I don't know. Maybe sometime in the future, but I'm kind of tired of uh, Link's Awakening randomizers at this point. So, uh, yeah. Um, we're gonna leave it at this and not do another one. Now and For now, anyway. Uh, instead, I do have two other LPs that I am gonna get up at some point on this channel. I don't know when. Uh, we have summer coming now, and my son um, is gonna have a you know, summer break for a month, so I'm not gonna be able to record anything for quite a while. Um, so, and depending on how how the future looks for me, I may or may not have time after the summer to record some of this stuff. But anyway, that's it. That's the end. And as weird as this playthrough has been, and in particular this uh, particular part, I still thank you if you're watching this. And, well, I have some time left before the video ends. Um, is there anything else I want to say? Not really. I guess thank you if you're watching this. And if not, maybe thank you anyway. I don't know. Anyway, this is done with. See you next time. Bye.